All right, guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. Kind of kind of live here. I'm in Universal Studios, and I'm in the, the Marvel section, the superhero island. And this is what Disney should be doing, because this is actually pretty awesome. I mean, look at the... Hey, Al. What's up, guys? Dr. Doom's got his own OAL's teaching. All right, well, I want you to get in trouble. So we're gonna take a lap around. They actually have a comic shop here in Universal and it's better than some of the comic shops I've been in. And, uh, we're here with our friend Gina. She's showing us around Universal today. Check out Kingpin, if you can see him. Hey everybody. But I love this. This is the, um... oh, we got Professor X up here. Fantastic car, look at this. We got a fantastic car. You can get your picture taken in it. They actually have a fantastic four cafe. And then that's the, the incredible Hulk coaster. Yeah, we're gonna go to the comic shop here in a minute. I just wanted to show you guys some of the artwork here. It's pretty cool. Like this is what Disney needs to be doing. Now they're doing one in, in uh, California. They're doing a Marvel land, but it's gonna be based on the movies. This, this one's actually based on the comics which is way cooler in my opinion. This is the uh, Hulk coaster. So we're gonna take you guys around. We got Silver Surfer. I mean, this place is, is pretty cool. I just, I love the comic art. The fact the Fantastic Four is getting some love here. Now they had, um, they had character meet and greets with some of the X-Men and they were in their classic costumes, which I love. They had Storm and Cyclops in like their 80s costumes. It was really cool. I mean, it's pretty sad when, when Universal Studios shows more love for the comic books than Disney does and Disney owns it. But they have a Spider-Man ride here. It's based on the comics, not the movies. Again, the, uh, the Marvel land they're building in, in California is going to be based just solely on the MCU. But we have, look at this, gorgeous comic book art. Yeah, I actually don't go to Islands of Adventure uh, very often, so. Yeah, I guess it is more, more based off the 90s. This is a very 90s, it's even got the logo kind of from the, the 90s. Uh, it's complicated how Universal got the rights to Marvels. When Marvel was in a bad place and they just kind of were like you want to make a movie of our stuff you want to theme parks now it's it's really complicated they can't put certain marvel characters gorgeous artwork of storm they can't put certain marvel characters into the parks in florida but they can do marvel in california um we're live yeah here we'll go in the comic shop the actual comic shop you got Iceman down there yeah, it's not as busy. They're actually keeping it down to 25%. Now, our friend Gina took us through here earlier. and But look, they have actual comic books. It's not just stuff. I guess this is a huge seller for them. This is a, a Josh Brolin signed $1,800 Infinity Gauntlet. But it's pretty cool. They got a Deadpool section. But again actual comic books in a comic book shop in a theme park lots of back issues 
I'll take you over to the new, I guess it's a new comic section, huh? Spinner racks, spinner racks in the theme park. Look at this. Now, my understanding from Gina is that this is one of the busiest shops in the entire park. And uh, Disney is missing out on huge uh, revenue opportunity. Hey, good morning. Classic. Look at this. These are all, I think, new issues. Oh, well, Ant-Man seems to be selling pretty well. People notice the uh, Captain Marvel, the Captain Marvel stuff. No, ironically, um, we were in another store, and they had a picture of Jeff Goldblum that was signed for six hundred dollars, and a Brie Larson one for twelve hundred. Oh. I, I, which I found vastly entertaining. <laughs> oh, I'm not ignoring you, Mark. We can't see all the comments. Sorry, on here we only see two at a time. Yeah, I do. I actually like this quite a bit. <laughs> Squid King face reveal. Hello. <laughs> right, there's a whole other half to it too, isn't there? Yeah, they have a store over there. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Okay. We're going that way. We're going this way. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right, we're going over here. It's over here, right? Under, underneath Rogue, correct? Oh, just store. Just, just store. That's our friend Gina. You want to say hello? Hello. Hello, Gina's saying hello. Okay. We don't have a cartoon avatar for you. We don't have one for us either. Okay. All right. Oh, we're going underneath Rogue? Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's look around here. See what we got. I just love, I'm just loving all the classic artwork. Now there's not as many comics over here. This is mostly merch. I love the Adam Warlock, Surfer. Star First Three Larson's on flash sale. <laughs> She's on flash sale. See? Oh, flash sale. Look above. They have a sign. Yep. There we go. Look to the Wait, Jeff Goldblum's on That's sale? What I said. No, they're not on sale. There it is. Oh, no, he's place. not. Did you see the one right here in the Thunder Command? Oh, oh holy God. God. Stanley. Oh, Disney's crazy now. We actually didn't go to Animal Kingdom yesterday because we were in the parking lot. We're like, hell no. So we came over to Universal instead. No, there's. 
ね。This is the first wall of pops I've seen, actually. I'm kind of relieved by that. Let's see what else we got. Somebody said they worked here? Yeah, Universal's separate from Disney. No. Universal's uh, cross town is about 20 minutes away. Oh, I kind of like these. <laughs> Parker. They don't. Oh, yeah, Paul Rudd. Yeah, he is over 20 years old, but I just like that they, they have a bigger Marvel. There's a secret. She's going to show you. Okay, let's go find the secret. All right. We're looking for the secret. Show me the secret. Show me the secret. Whoops. I don't want to go behind the counter here. Hi. I'm like ignoring social. Social. Okay, what were you show me? Okay. Each pillar represents one history of Marvel history. Okay. So each one is on one generation of Marvel. So each era of Marvel, that's from the beginning to the end. So basically the end, yeah. So I'm actually going backwards, I think, because I want to start with Captain America. And then we got the 60s. Well, it's a darn shame there was no diversity until five years ago. I know, what is with... That's not Captain Marvel, it's impossible. Best era. Say, but women in comics or anything, how dare they? I know. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap this one up. I think we're going to try for Spider-Man if it's not broke down. So thanks, everybody, and say thank you, Gina, for showing us around. All right.